Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be talking about the week ahead, the astro forecast for the week of January 28th, 2019. I miss you so much. Honestly, I miss you guys so much. Last week I took a break. The start of that break was because I had all my furniture coming in from Philadelphia, which as you can see, it is currently behind me. Don't judge me, I obviously realized that I'm a hoarder throughout this entire process. I am ashamed, at the same time I'm kind of proud, but then I'm also ashamed, but I'm also proud of all the items that it is that I have. So I've just kind of been sorting through them. While I was unpacking and just getting my life together, I got sick. I had a little housewarming party at Mikasa, and I had all, you know, some of my new friends from New Orleans come, and that's what happens when you live by yourself and you work by yourself, and then you let other human beings into your little bubble, and then they give you their viruses, they give you your back, their bacteria. So I got sick so fast. It was midweek, I thought I was gonna be done, and I just was out for the count. I had to sleep it off. It wasn't as bad as I thought that it would be, and it wasn't as bad as the rest of my friends had it. I think it's because I take pretty good care of my body, and I obviously I have a lot of protection energy around me, so I don't know if it was a combination of all those things that helped me to feel better, but either way, I missed you guys, and there's a lot of stuff that happened last week. I was getting a lot of comments from my Bahati Vibe tribe just saying like, oh my god, Jess, where are you? This is going on, this is what's going on. I didn't even pull the charts. I mean, I just, I needed time for myself and I'm grateful that I did it. But that being said, let's go ahead and talk about this week ahead. I have the astrology chart pulled up in front of me. I also have some cards and I wrote down, I took some notes here that I'll be following along that I'll be sharing with you. The first word that came through this week, at, for this week, during my morning meditation was the word begin. It's time to finally begin. And I'm not really sure how that applies to you guys. For me personally, when I saw that and when I looked at the rest of the messages, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little nervous. It's this energy of making a decision and acting on it. All of 2019 is gonna be the year of the Empress and the Hanged Man, so it's a lot of like non-action action, meaning like it's only act when you're called to act and this week it just seems like there is an actual call to respond. There's um, a decision that needs to be made. There's a conversation that is had. There's a dialogue. And it's interesting because there's two sides to this vibe that it is that I'm getting. One is very, you know, excitable and ready and, you know, itching to get out there and itching to have this conversation. And the other side is scared. The other side is nervous. Now, this applies to me in my life. 100% so I don't know if this is exclusively just for me but when I was pulling the cards and I was writing my notes down I was just like okay universe I hear you I get it but I'm still scared but I'm still scared I'm terrified I just wanted all of us to just like collectively to scream together because that's that's where I'm at you know it's the this these developments are exciting but they're scary they're so scary and it's funny too because there's three cards that I pulled out to start this week and the first one to jump out was open your heart to love and the Jesus card from the Ascended Masters and Doreen Virtues deck by the way which I have right here let me show you in just two seconds this deck card this Oracle deck card this deck Doreen Virtue in general is just you know causing all types of controversy right now shout out to you Doreen Virtue for, <laughs> for this awakening that it is that you're going through and I I, you know, fingers crossed that I can get a video out and we can discuss, you know, what she's been doing and my thoughts on that because I've been getting a lot of comments as far as, Jess, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? And of course I have opinions, so I'll share, I'll share, but I'm still working with her deck today, even though this may offend some people, it is what it is, but, um... I'm not here to make everybody happy, I'm not gonna lie. The card that jumped out again for this week is open your heart to love and trust and meditate. When I looked at the chart and when I'm looking at the cards, the other cards that it is I pulled, there's obviously a lot of energy that's building up. And it, again, it could be the excitement for the future, it could be a conversation that it is that you're having, whatever it is, I really am seeing this need to kind of just sit for a moment and be still. Again, this connects back to the energy of this year for 2019, which is the hanged man, which is again, you know, before you make a move, sometimes just kind of sit and meditate on it. When you sit and meditate, the, the dust tends to really settle, settle. The waters tend to clear. And that's when you can see from your heart, from a lens through your heart, okay, this is what I need to act on, this is what I need to do. The biggest thing that I see is 
you know, it's almost like you're, again, hearing this call <clears throat> and you're responding to it. And no matter how scary it is, no matter how foreign it is to you, because Mercury moving to the sign of Aquarius, which just happened last week, or just started happening last week, is going to push you outside of your normal comfort zones. No matter how foreign it is to you, it's you, your heart is, and your soul, your spirit, it may not make sense to you, but it's calling out to you to make a move and to decide. If it's to start this new journey when it comes to your own life path, when it comes to your work, when it comes to building a project, when it comes to putting yourself out there creative uh, in a creative way, when it comes to travel, when it comes to business, when it comes to relationships, it's time for you to act upon that. Because that is your soul, that is your heart saying, look, this is something that's important to me. I don't care how much it makes me scared. I have to act on this. I have to respond to this. The message that came through that I wrote down is begin. And that is start moving on what your soul has asked of you. Start the project, start building it. If you're thinking about someone, if you can't stop thinking about someone, it's time for you to act on that. If there's someone that's on your heart that you've you know been thinking about, that maybe it's a friend friends or a whoever, a family member, it's time for you to pick up the phone and to take that initiative to connect with them. That's what I mean by begin. That means start the journey by you taking that first step, by putting yourself out there. And again, it's not always the most easy, it's not always the most comfortable, but it's time for you to do it. That's some of the cards that came through is the Ace of Swords, which is very much about clarity clarity of your mind making a making a decision and acting on it using your voice using your thoughts in order to create change within your life the full card is really honestly taking that leap of faith and it may not make sense to the rest of the world the full card is actually ruled by the energy of aquarius so it's, just, it's that split start that putting myself out there taking that you know that first step and just being guided Again, Aquarius energy is all about doing things differently, following the beat of your own drummer. Sun is moving through the sign of Aquarius anyways. Part of Fortune is moving through the sign of Aquarius. Mercury is moving through the sign of Aquarius. And all of these planets, it doesn't matter if you're a Virgo, if you're a Gemini, if you're a Scorpio, if you're a Leo, it doesn't matter. We're all under the same influence. As above, so below. What's going on up there is impacting us down here. So again, Open your heart to the idea of love. It doesn't matter what has happened in the past. When I see the word begin, it's not that we are forgetting where it is that we've come from. It's not that we are ignoring our fears, we're ignoring our insecurities. It, it's not pretending like that stuff doesn't exist. It's giving yourself an opportunity to start over fresh and move from your heart in a new space. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Give yourself credit for doing all that you knew, how, knew to do in that moment, but now choose to do things differently. There were two other cards that jumped out. One was the Seven of Wands and one was the Page of Pentacles. And again, this kind of cosigns with what it was that I was saying, which is, you know what, we're the cards, the universe, angels, guides, me, myself, your tribe around you. We're not expecting perfection from you. We understand that the steps moving forward are not easy. Maybe it causes a little bit of anxiety. Maybe it goes against everything that it is that you've said. Maybe it's you deviating from this normal path, but you're allowed to change your mind. You're allowed to be like, hey, you know what? I made a mistake. I wanna do things differently. You're allowed to do that. You don't have to stay in this old way all the time just because that's what you've always done. So that's kind of what it is that I'm seeing here. The other thing that I see is tell the truth. What I mean by that is tell the truth about what it is that you're thinking. Tell the truth about what's on your heart. Say that you're scared. Say that you're nervous. That's what I'm doing too. Like I have, you know, a project that's, you know, kind of put on my lap that I can't talk about right now. But in reality, it scares the shit out of me. But it's very exciting, but it scares the shit out of me. So I want the people that I'm going to be working with to know that the reason why this is so hard for me to say yes is because I'm terrified and that's the reality and they need to know that and it's okay for me to be a leader it's okay for me to be a, to be strong and to be assertive and to be boss vibes and still at the same time be like I don't know because I'm scared I don't know I don't know <laughs> so it's okay because it's it's honest it's the truth it doesn't make me weak by saying that it just shows you like I'm not afraid to tell you that I'm not I'm not sure right now. You know what I mean? Because this is what it is that I'm feeling and I want to make sure that I'm making a good decision. 
So the same is true for you guys. And again, this could be your anxiety. This could be just putting that risk of putting yourself out there, making yourself vulnerable. What does this card mean for you? I'm curious to hear what does this nine, seven of wands, what does the seven of wands represent for you? When you see the seven of wands, what is it that is the obstacle for you? What is the hesitation? What is the hold back? But at the end of the day, realize that it's there that's okay acknowledge it but still open your heart to love and trust the process trust the path because it's you know it's it's opening a door for you that's so worth it and it's again begin take that first step it's it's your turn it's your turn to take that first step and the note that i wrote down is what is your true self like the true self who are you this is again in this meditative state that it is I'm seeing. It's if, And I almost see people kind of looking in the mirror and looking at themselves, looking at the reflection in the mirror and being like, Jess, who are you? Who is the essence of my core being? Like, who are you? And to your core, you're a soft person, you're a compassionate person, you're a loving person, you're a strong person, all of these aspects of yourself. and. When you examine yourself, you will see the reflection of what it is that, again, your heart truly desires because that's the core of the essence of who you are. And whoever that is, whoever you see, that's the risk that's, that is worth taking. That's where you'll get the reward because that's who you should be fighting for. You should be fighting for your true self. Become aware of that self again. When you act on that, when you act on your true self, when you act on the essence of your core being, it is so healing. It is such a release. There's so much freedom that comes from that. The, re the, the reward and the risk is always worth it. So that's again why I'm saying, Go ahead and, and take that leap of faith. Go ahead and put yourself out there. Starting this week, that is ultimately what it is that I'm seeing. And when I see warrior energy, I see you being a warrior for yourself. Just being that leader, just fighting, fighting these obstacles, fighting this opposition, meaning fighting that anxiety, fighting that insecurity, fighting that self-doubt, fighting that fear, fighting that... Um, you know, I want to hide myself away. Like, this is kind of hard. Yeah, of course it's hard. If it was easy, would it be worth it? Sometimes no. Sometimes it does take, you know, that, that extra risk and that extra push. So that's what I'm seeing this week. Let me know how this is impacting you because I'm curious. I want to know. Leave it down in the comments, especially when it comes to the seven of, pen seven of Wands. When you see this card, you guys, what is it that's triggering you? Is it... Like, what is it? Like, I'm just going to leave the leave it in so that it's like fill in the blank. Leave it down below and leave that comment. What's the first thing that pops in your head when you see the Seven of Wands? And Sacred Circle Tarot School members, you guys, you know, we should probably carry on this conversation in our own group. For those of you guys who are members of the Sacred Circle Tarot School, for those of you guys that are interested in learning more about the Sacred Circle Tarot School, I will leave those links down below in my description box or in my bio. And you can go ahead and check that out. But in the meantime, let's talk about this card a little further, Sacred Circle Tarot School, okay? So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Astro Live Chat is tonight, as it is every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Instagram Live. So hopefully I'll be seeing you guys there. Until then, make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make sure that you're leaving those comments down below so that I can read them all. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you love this video, please share it with your friends and your tribe because that's the best way in order for you to kind of say thank you, I guess, or to, you know, share this love and share this energy out there for the rest of the world to um, benefit from it. That being said, I will talk to you guys later and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.